So, um, how did you get here? Uh, how could this happen? I'm so angry I could eat so much cheese my lactose intolerance will act up, but I do that on a regular basis so prepare yourself for wind. I, as a fully fledged citizen of Margaret, hate the cold. This is your fault, Helen. No, this is your fault, Trashmere. Don't call me Trashmere, it hurts my superiority complex. I can call you whatever I want and get away with it because I write the script. Is it just me that feels really attacked? Wow. She's good. I have so many regrets. Now let's get on with this. Squad of mighty goals, it is time to act and protect our Australia also known as Earth. Edith may have taken our duct tape, our tarpaulin, our ovens, and our televisions, but they cannot take our spirits. This is Mercy Hatchcroft with breaking news, the vodka has gone missing. Oh come on. This is getting ridiculous. As I was saying, in order to defeat our foes we must come together and be better than ever, because unity, and dignity, means victory. But Kashmir, what are we going to do? How are we going to defeat them? We could fire the tea boy? Please, I promise I won't put absinthe in the Earl Grey again. The aliens are mad at Helen's life, right? So, the answer is obvious. We change my life? Is this the point where someone donates a massive check for me to rebuild myself in my dream career in a mansion in California? Of course, it's so obvious, if it's Helen's life they're after then. We need to kill Helen. It's so simple. It's the only way. Wait. Yes I'm Helen, please satisfy me with the sweet taste of death. Sorry, I went for a loop break. What did I miss? We're going to throw you off a cliff. I thought you wanted unity and dignity. That's why you need to unite with the ground. I don't understand. Why will me being dead help? I thought I was useful, and think of all the three player board games you'll miss out on. We can use your stunt double. Hey, this is a stunt, right? I'm sorry Helen, we have to do this. I don't remember agreeing to this. Anne, outsider. You have fallen into our realm. Ah. Uh. Take me to your leader. Right. David. Helen. Your. God. Um. Hey, Kashmir. Yeah? You remember that time I said that the aliens were after Helen's life? Yeah, an hour ago. What about it? I've realized that the aliens only know about Helen's life through your blog, so Helen didn't really have anything to do with it. So we shouldn't have thrown her off the cliff. Right? Dearly beloved, and those who don't really matter. We are gathered here to remember the life of Helen Sarah. She was a brave soul. But also a very irresponsible, slightly insane, and downright weird soul, with little control over her limbs, bowels, and taxes. She did some good things in her life. Like. Um. But it was mainly bad things. And mainly fire, 
There was lots of fire. Let us all pray she ends up in a place with lots of fire. Let us also pray we can work out who's writing the script. And now, some kind words from her adopted daughter, Cassandra Lettuce Blossom Tatimandius Higgins Bottomsworth the 18th. <laughs> right. Now that's over. Who ordered the skinny white latte? Molly, do you think we should have told the media about this? Made it public? Well, we have a stunt double. No, you don't. You killed my friend. You deserve whatever the world can throw at you. I'm not playing any part in your disgusting game. Never speak to me again. Demi. I. At least we still have Marco. I'm only doing this because she wouldn't have wanted the world to end. I want to make her happy, not you. Good enough. Now let's go home. Oh god Kashmir what have we done? Her. Her room still smells like her. Like shedder and regret. How can we go on? How can we go on? Why do I miss her so much? Who do you think writes the script? Oh.